What is up beautiful people of the world? Welcome to another Travel Tips video. Today we are talking about how you get to Tayrona National Park in Colombia from Santa Marta. Before we get into it, I just want to ask you a quick favor. If this video is helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. Please like the video. And if you enjoy the travel tips, please subscribe to the channel. I'll be posting every Wednesday a travel tip for you. So I hope you enjoy them. That's all I had to ask, so let's get you to Tayrona. So if you're from Santa Marta, you need to go to Calle 11 and Carrera 9, and at that corner there's a public market. And at the public market, there's right in that corner, there's a, a grocery store, and then they have a bus that takes you there. It's a collective bus, public bus, that stops and picks people up along the way. It costs you uh, 7,000 pesos. So with the help of Google Earth, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what you wanna look for when you're at Carrera 9 and Calle 11. So you can see the big supermarket on the other end of the street. This is the bus you'll be getting on. You can actually see that it says P. Terona on the front windshield there. That's Parque Terona. That's the bus you're going to be getting on. And it sits outside this orange supermarket. You can see there's some water bottles in the window there. And it's right on the corner here. So you can, you can kind of see what's around this area. So that way when you get there, you know what it looks like. Carrera 9 and Calle 11. That takes you right to the start of the park. At the park, you go in, they give you all the information you need about day passes or staying here as long as you'd like. And then you go through the entrance and you pay an entrance fee. That entrance fee is 44,500 per person. Um, it says 54,000 on the board, 54,500 on the board. So I'm not quite sure why it was cheaper for us, but just be aware it could fluctuate. And then you walk through and there's a collective that takes you uh, to the start of the trail, which saves you about 30 minutes, and that's 3,000 pesos as well. Once you get to the end of the collective bus, that costs you 3,000 to get to the start of the walking of the park, which I highly, highly suggest you take because it just saved us a ton of time, especially if you're only doing a day trip. Um, it just makes sense to to take that little bus. I mean, it's only a dollar US, 3,000 pesos, totally worth it. Once you get there, supposedly it's like an hour and a half walk to the place, and the guys are telling me that the bus is, uh, the last bus is at six, to get back. You also have another option besides walking, which will take you a lot less time. It will cost you some more money, but you could ride a horse to whichever beach you prefer, and you could pick up these horses as you go along. Guys, let's do a quick time breakdown. So we left our hostel at eight o'clock. It took us about 10 minutes to walk to Calle 11, Carrera 9, and then it was about 10 minutes wait for the bus to take off. And then it was 8.20 until about 9.20. We were on that bus, and then we got off at the entrance, and then we took another 30 minute bus ride pretty much to the entrance. So it took us about an hour and a half from takeoff until we started hiking. And then the hike has now taken us one hour and 25 minutes to get to the first beach. So basically we left the hostel at around eight o'clock. It is now 11.20 until we got to the first beach. So that's something to keep in mind when you're doing just this for a day. You really want to get here as soon as you can because if you don't, uh, you will have a very short time here. So we made it to San Cabo. It took us two hours to hike here. So. Uh, in total, we left the house at eight. It's now almost noon. So it's four hours to get here, which is pretty insane. You have a few options to get back to Santa Marta. The first, you could take a boat from Cabo San Juan back to the Santa Marta port. You can actually take the horses back to the entrance and then take a cooperative, or you can hike back and take a cooperative. We hiked back and it actually took a lot less time than it did to get out there. It might've been because we were at a quicker pace or because we found a quicker trail. Either way, the hike wasn't too bad going back. Once you get back, you're gonna to wanna to look for this sign here. And as you can see, it is still 7,000 pesos to get back to Santa Marta. And they drop you off on the same block that you picked up the bus in the morning. Thank you guys so much for watching this Travel Tips video. I hope it was helpful. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, throw a comment down below. Smash the bell for notifications and subscribe to my channel so you can catch up on all the travel tips around the world. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Love y'all. Bye-bye.